Hey everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use order bumps to increase your average order value. Now, a typical customer, when he visits your website or your funnel, this is the journey. He first goes to a product landing page where you offer him a specific product. He accepts this and goes to the checkout and he's ready to pay. Let's say it's $100. And once he pays, he goes to the thank you page. So at the end of the journey, you earn about $100 from this customer. With order bump, rather than uh, settling for $100, here's what you do. A person comes to the landing page, you make a product offer, he accepts it, he goes to the checkout page to pay the $100 for the product. But then he sees an order bump offer, which is worth of $30, and he can accept it with one click. So he does that, he adds it to the order and proceeds to pay and goes to the confirmation page. So now you have a total order value of $130. So you just made an extra 30 bucks without any extra effort, right? So that's what you can do with order bumps. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set this up in your funnels. So as you can see, I'm on my funnel canvas and I have a three-step funnel created. A funnel with a landing page, a checkout page, and a thank you page. Now I've used one of our templates uh, to create this funnel. Let me show you. This is how the landing page looks like. As you can see, uh, very nice design and uh, I'm going to use this one to sell a microphone just like it shows in the image. And let me show you how the checkout page looks like. There you go. So as you know, uh, when you create a funnel, initially you need to assign the main funnel product uh, in the checkout step. If you don't know how to start creating a funnel, uh, you may watch our overview video on WP Funnels. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Okay. Now to assign the product, what you do is you go to the settings icon of the checkout and over here, you'll be assigning your product. As you can see, I've assigned the XYZ microphone. That's the one that I'll be selling uh, through this funnel. Okay. And uh, what I want is if I look at the checkout page, I want to add order bump offers here so that you know whenever someone is about to purchase this microphone they can also get an offer on something extra let's say a pop filter which works quite well with microphones right so that's what i'm going to do so let's go back to the canvas and let us see how you can add order bumps to this checkout so first thing you do is you go to the checkout settings and here go to the order bump tab you will see something like this so you can click on add order bump and an order bump creation will start. Okay, so what you have to do is first, you need to select the product you want to offer in the order bump. So I'm going to choose uh, the order bump offer uh, for a pop filter I have, XYZ pop filter. So this is something people use with microphones, you know, for noise reduction. So I'm just going to add that and then once the product is assigned, you can see that it's giving me a preview of how the order bump looks. What I can do is I can customize the title and the description and everything, right? So you can see the product title is XYZ pop filter. So what I can write here is exclusive XYZ pop filter. This looks much better. And then I have a tagline special one time offer, let's say 10% off. Now this will be more attractive. And uh, for the description, let's write So this is the description of the offer I have and as you can see I have the price $39.99 uh, Set up for the pop filter. So what I'll do is I'm gonna give a discount for this and I'm gonna set a discount to 10% and that's gonna show that the discounted price is $35.99. So Instead of $39.99, they'll be uh, paying $35.99 if they accept this order bump offer. And uh, on top, if you scroll up, you can see there are several templates for the order bumps. Uh, you can change this. You'll see there are about 14 styles that you can choose from. So if I choose style 2, you can see there's a different design. Uh, if I choose style 3, that's another design. So I can choose as many designs as I want. Okay. And I can also customize the colors of everything. You can see. I can change the color of the background. I can change the main order bump color, which will change the uh, texts over here and so much more. Okay. Uh, at the same time, I can also choose the order bump position. So I can choose to place this order bump before the order details or after the order details before the whole checkout form. That's totally up to me. I have a lot of positions to offer. 
I also have an option to show this as a pop-up. So once you're ready with this, scroll down and click on save changes and your order bump is ready. So let me go back to the canvas and let us look at the checkout now. And if I scroll down, you can see, there you go. I have the order bump right here. Now this is a common scenario that when you have someone trying to purchase a product, you want to offer something relevant as order bump. So someone is purchasing a microphone, that's why I'm offering a pop filter. Do not just randomly drop in an offer because people are not gonna accept that. At the same time, one of the common scenarios of order bump is that you offer something that's very affordable. People don't have to spend a lot to get this, right? So if they're buying a microphone, you want to add a little bit of additional cost rather than a lot. So instead of offering something of $100, $150 with this, I offered something that cost about $36, right? And now let me show you how this works. If someone chooses to accept this offer, click on grab this offer with one click and this will be added to your order. There you go. Now people can go through the checkout and this order bump uh, will be purchased. So that's so simple, right? Next, let me show you how you can add multiple order bumps to the same page. So if I go back to that funnel and go to the checkout settings and go to the order bump tab, okay? Here, I can click on add order bump to add another one and I can assign more products over here. Uh, let's say I have a shock mount, which reduces the uh, shakiness of my microphone right and uh let's say for now let me just not add any details i'll just save changes and i'll change the position to before check order details right so now let me go ahead and take a look at the checkout page and if i scroll down you can see this has come up before the order details so that's how you can add multiple order bumps to your funnel now another scenario that you get with order bump is rather than offering uh, something small what you can do is you can offer a better alternative of what you have as the main product so as you can see i have my main product as xyz microphone so what i'll do is i'm going to remove one of my order bumps and for the other one i'm going to assign something better than what i have so if i go and search for microphone i have something called microphone version 2 which is the upgraded version of my xyz microphone and this one costs a bit more which is $179.99 on a sale price after the discount, right? So I want to offer a 10% off. So what this will do is this is going to create a scenario where someone can spend a little bit extra to get a better alternative. Let me show you. If I go to the checkout page and scroll down, you can see this is a better alternative. Now, here's the thing. You don't want him to add both the offers in the same checkout. So what you can do is we have this special replace offer. So what you can do is go to the order bump again, edit this, and at the very bottom, you'll see there's this option called replace product. So if you enable this option, it will ask you that do you want to replace all the products or any specific selected products from the cart? So I want to replace my whole cart with this. I only have one product, right? So I'll just save this and go back to the canvas and view the checkout. And now if I accept this order bump, this is going to replace my main product. If I don't want this, I can again click on this and it will come back. Okay. So that's how simple it is to use order bumps in your funnel. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.